Meanwhile, this turning a tragedy into tribute. Listen to this. Our next guests are honoring the 13 U.S. service members killed and 17 injured in Afghanistan with a very special gift. They handcrafted 13 flags made out of mahogany and maple hardwood sealed with a commemorative photo and name plaque for the Gold Star families of the fallen. They also created 17 wood and steel flags for the servicemen injured in that attack. Joining us to tell their story about the, that are the owners, Medal of Art, Medal Art of Wisconsin and Flags by Justice, Shane Henderson and Justice Anderson. Uh, good to see both of you here and wow, what, what a wonderful uh, tribute. Um, Shane, I'll talk to you first. What inspired you to create something special for these families? Uh, right after the tragedy, uh, my employees and I, we all uh, got together and decided as a group, uh, we were gonna do this project. Uh, we actually started on the project before we were even in contact with all the families. Um, so it's been an extremely emotional project for us, um, mostly because we've been in direct contact with uh, 12 of the 13 families. So um, got gotten to know a lot of them and uh, there's a little piece of all of us in these flags. Shane, uh, let me go back to you on that. Just to follow up, you, you have spoken to the families. I'm just curious, what, what's your biggest takeaway from, from talking to them? What are you hearing over the line on that phone? Is it resilience? Is it, is it, is it pride um, for their son? Lots, lots of tears. Yeah. yeah, lots of tears. And, uh, you know, my son, Justice, he just turned 18, and I, I can't imagine getting that phone call. So their sacrifice is unmeasurable. So we are honored to, to be able to, to provide these for them. Yeah, it's, it really is amazing and, and just, you know, your hearts go out on anything you could do for these Gold Star families. Uh, Justice, talk to me about that. Being 18 years old uh, and you hear, you know, some your age and, and just a, a few years older losing their lives um, in, in, during those attacks in, in, in Kabul. Um, what goes through your mind in, in, in building these, uh, this, these commemorative efforts that you've done? Uh, I feel like it's really my only way to... Uh give back uh, and it makes me feel like I am doing my part in society by giving back to people who sacrifice their lives for our country. Yeah, Shane, you know, it, it is a wonderful thing and I know so many people are watching right now and really just, uh, you know, hats off to what uh, you and your son are doing uh, for these families here. Um, as, as you're making it, uh, you know, I'm just curious, you know, what, what, is, is there some process that you do? It must be an emotional thing to build this. Uh, yeah, they are very, uh, labor, uh, they're laborious to make. I have a team of 17 people here and this has been our project for the past, uh, probably month, month and a half, um, getting these, uh, things all together, getting them all ready. Um, hand sanding everything, hand finishing, uh, sublimating the, the steel plaques. It's been, it's been quite the chore. And if for, for folks that may want to give back or maybe they want to ask for the same or request the same from you guys, how can they get a hold of you and maybe put an order in? Uh, so our website is freedomcabinet.com and uh, my son's website is flagsbyjustice.com um, and his name's spelled J-U-S-T-I-S. Uh, we have all these flags for uh, for we do we we uh, we also run a program called Flag Supporter Tube where we donate these flags and that's on our website as well. So we give back constantly. Yeah, custom flags made for those Gold Star families of the fallen service members there in Afghanistan, made by these two gentlemen uh, and seventeen others, as you mentioned. The website's on yep. the screen. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, what a wonderful thing and a great note to end this uh, on on this Friday. Uh, Shane and Justice Henderson, thank you for joining us. Appreciate that. Hey, thanks a lot. Thanks. Got it. Bring the panel back, uh, Bobby, Jesse, Jane, and Julio. Uh, Jesse, Jane, start with you, re retired U.S. Marine Gunnery Sergeant. Your thoughts on these uh, flags honoring the fallen from from uh, th this family and then those 17 workers. It's very difficult for me to not talk about this without getting choked up, so bear with me. Uh, one of those uh, Marines was from my hometown, Sergeant Nicole G. I didn't know that when she initially was killed. I remember reading in the papers that, you know, 10 Marines, 11 Marines, 13 Marines. Then we found out it was 11 Marines, one Navy corpsman, and one uh, staff sergeant from the United States Army. And I couldn't get enough about reading about them because I felt to honor them, I had to understand who they were. We found out that there was a state wrestling champ in there. There was a young man, Hunter, who had wanted to become a sheriff like his parents. We read about each individual and what a great contribution they were to their community, to their home, what they wanted to become when they even got off of active duty. 
And uh, then I read that Sergeant Nicole G was from my hometown, Sacramento, California. I, I just crushed. I went to tell my mother the story and I started to crack and cry. I happened to be at, coincidentally at, the airport the day her body came home. And I was leaving the airport and it was miles of traffic and every overpass was covered with American flags and police officers and firefighters. And I started to cry in my car, knowing that her body was behind me, that there were two Marines escorting her home. And let me tell you, every American who witnesses that brings it home that these were our members of our communities. These were all promising young men and women who had promising futures. They didn't join the military as a last resort. They were all exceptional and they were great patriots. So thank God for this family to honor them. And we shall never forget, because while Joe Biden was looking at his watch, because he didn't have the time to honor them, the rest of America will. Well said. You know, Bobby, uh, if, listening to Jesse Jane, you know, it touches on the emotion uh, that she feels, but also, the, you know, them building those flags for them. They had no part mm -hmm. in any of it, yet they felt so compelled that they, they, they really wanted to do something special for these Gold Star families. Yeah, and let me just say that the, the words from Jesse Jane were just, it's awesome. I'm, I'm moved just listening to her, but the entire segment, it, you know, I've been, I went to a, a gala dinner the other night and they had a, a table reserved for the 13. I went to a restaurant the other day, they had a place set out for the 13. It seems like ordinary Americans are out there making a difference in honoring these people who have fallen. And the, the emotion, it, it ranges from just heartbreak and, and, admiration to then anger, knowing that they shouldn't have died in the first place. This was whole, just a fiasco that could have been avoided if we had some real leadership. So really, I, I'm all over the place with this, but when I see those tables set aside, when I see these memorials, I'm just so moved. And we need to, as Americans, remember these folks every single day. All right, let, let me leave it there. I'm out of time, um, but I appreciate that. Jesse Jane, thanks for opening up on that one. Uh, Bobby, I believe Jesse Jane. Duff Julio, we're going to get to you on the next part. Stick around. Still ahead. Some new poll numbers find President.